hello guys welcome to the live stream and today we will be designing the the thermal ui interface uh, as you must have read the title of the live stream and uh, so just a brief introduction what is like the thermal so uh, i mean i did i think um, i think second second last live stream where uh, i had just get uh, initialized the project using electron electron is an uh, an application um, i mean electron is a framework where we, we can build a, a native application for windows mac or linux using html CS, uh, html css and javascript um so yeah i have just initialized the project and uh, i was thinking before i get started into uh, coding the project further i was thinking just to get a brief ui that how the the application should look like and so that is what we will be going today okay let me just pull up the chat real quick Okay, so I have opened the chat. Okay, let me just say a hello message. Nice. Okay, great. And I will just start with a with a basic frame. Uh, maybe a desktop frame will be sufficient. Okay, that, no, 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 that's not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we just need a basic layout that how it will look like. Uh, we don't need a uh, very specific detail that how does the the icon look like or that thing. We just need a basic layout that uh, that uh, where will be the the get log will be or uh, how does the sidebar will look like or the header or those components. So I just find out these few uh, Git graphical user interface which are already uh, over there. Few of them are open source and free and few of them are paid. Um, so I just took a few screenshots of them that how does they look like uh, just to get a reference. Uh, so I was really inspired. Uh, so basically this project was highly inspired by the, the the atom uh, git feature so basically it's a separate uh, package uh, and at the at the atom uh, organization if you go to the github url uh, github.com slash atom uh, so it's a separate package uh, which is pre-installed in, in the atom itself so if you just start using atom and you will see there's a, this tab called git uh, where it shows a very simplified and minified uh, version of of the git where you can just uh, Sta uh, stage any file and then commit it using uh, a simple text message you know just to type a message and then commit it so it's a very simplified way and i was highly inspired because uh, this um, this package you know which we installed in uh, atom so it's very simplified that you know we, we can just create a simple commit and if we want to uh, commit a specific file or a spe uh, specific uh, line of code so for that purpose it was very awesome so I thought uh, because uh, there are already other bunch of you know a graphical user interface which are really good and I mean they are very popular in the uh, market also but uh, on the other hand they are you can say very close source uh, and uh, paid also uh, for example this one it's called tower and this is the source tree uh, which is not paid but uh, still the source code is uh, still closed uh, to, the, uh, to the company itself so my plan for building this project is to make it open source and uh, as you can see i'm just uh, doing the design openly with you guys so i just want to make it you know a project all of us where we can work together and contribute to the project uh, so yeah i'll just uh, 
let's see what uh, so first of all uh, i will be first designing this for windows because i'm using windows only uh, like i'm not sure like how it will look like for i, I don't really know like what is the experience for a mac or linux so i will deal with that part later on so first of all i will just keep uh, this focus to windows only um okay so this is for mac like how does it look like in mac and uh, so uh, i just have thought that uh, since you know uh, the main uh, feature of git is that we can uh, pull some changes push some changes and maybe if we want to commit so these are the you know three basic uh, or most important features of the git itself uh, so that's why uh, I was thinking to keep uh, you know a top bar something like this, but still this bar is very uh, you can say thick. Um, but uh, my approach will be similar one only uh, that we will be having a bunch of icons at the top uh, and also a sidebar. Okay, so let's just uh, create a simple one and also this one only of course the menu bar with the logo uh, and uh, the, this menu bar the file edit all the stuff okay this can be the logo i mean uh, i'm just uh, creating a placeholder for the logo i haven't even um, thought of any logo specifically that's fine over here <coughs> and maybe a bunch of uh, links like file uh, edit what else Okay, we got view repository help view repository help okay that's nice and on the right side we got the the action button uh, I'm not sure like what are they called but I think they are called action buttons only Uh, something like this just a second I'm just ch changing the position of my monitor okay let me change the music also Mm, I need some happy music yeah that's nice yeah that's nice okay Okay, so we got the the top menu bar and then we need to add the the actual nav bar something like this uh, I am not even not even sure like what should be the the color of the the application. Or maybe we can just keep this white for now because uh, you know when we uh, initialize a new project uh, for an electron I think the the menu bar is uh, by default uh, white I think let me just group this change it uh, this stuff uh, okay 
uh, and over here so I'm still a bit concerned like what should I add over here like uh, as I did told you that uh, I'll be adding the icons and okay so I'll work on this part later uh, I'll just add a quick sidebar this can be 350 and 30 nope it was 30 plus 50 hope oh, no, no 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 30 plus 50 and this should be this okay something like this the sidebar is too wide yeah that's fine uh, over here uh, it will be most of the links So it is kind of similar to this things only like over here but ultimately it depends like uh, you know the specific things the way it looks like for example as you can see like this workspace and all these uh, you know the specific details so that things matter and that things decide like uh, that uh, like what is the design and how does it feel like you know in the design part Hmm. They have even similar sidebar only. Yeah. But they have uh, added additional sidebar where they can commit. Uh, I just want to keep the the uh, as we all know that you know uh, the the main uh, purpose of the git is to just commit the changes and uh, i really want to make that more prompting uh, as we can see over here in the in the atom project over here that uh, you know we got this big section uh, where the user can commit the changes What just happened? Okay, oh, my bad. And this should be um, 30 plus 50. And this much white. And the color can be similar to for this for now. Yeah, we just need to create a distinction that, uh, that this is a separate section. and uh, since this is just a whole new project and so i will be not uh, adding all the things like you no know, uh, tags uh, maybe uh, squash changes or um, or all the additional stuff so it will be just basic for now uh, because in the git itself uh, there's a whole new universe with all the different you know uh, uh, flags we can add or options uh, you can just check the documentation there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff we can do uh, so we will just start with the basic uh, things like uh, maybe pull and push changes and those are just uh, that talking to the, to the remote your uh, repository and pushing the changes and all the stuff and the main part will be the, the committing the changes so that will be the basic ground up
I mean, uh, adding, uh, adding this, uh, you know, this, uh, this line does uh, improve the design, the quality of the design. So uh, we can uh, even add this side, uh, this, you know, the the border to the this sidebar in the code itself. It will look nice. So we got this full wide view where we can show different stuff. Uh, based upon the, the view there may be a list of commits and maybe if the user want to commit uh, specific changes uh, so um, Just a second. The song is too metal. We need mild song. Okay, over here we will add um, maybe new repository. And I have selected a font which I uh, really want to use. So I think it was I forgot the font. Uh, it was a font from the Google font only. Let me check the font again. Okay, so what was that font? Mm. Let me show you this the web page. Um, I think the name uh, starts with uh, operator only. Yeah, this font also looks good. We can uh, use this font uh, at the welcome page uh, when the user, you know, uh, when when there's a new user who downloads the the application. 
play fair play fair okay let's test it out so this is the so i'll just convert this into a component so this will be the menu bar here. and i will quickly duplicate the, the frame and i don't need this stuff over here so this must be the instance okay so i'll make this also an instance and move this at the top okay now let me add uh, welcome to thermal uh, which is the name of the project itself and it was i think play fair yeah we can make it 80 come on man um, what happened to the music um, let me change the music Now I can play music from Spotify. The problem is that uh, you know if I will export the the live stream to YouTube, or when you will just uh, rewatch the the live the video when I have ended the live stream, then uh, it might you know block certain parts of the audio because there might be some copyright content which is the the music from the Spotify itself. So I don't want that to happen. Okay. Uh, this part I'm not sure. Not. I'm thinking that it doesn't look much good. Let me just uh, prototype this. Come on, why it is so lagging? Come on. In the meantime, we can just explore a few more pawns. Maybe we can try this Ubuntu font or maybe just slow down. Now for the welcome page, uh, I you know I do want to make it a little bit fancy. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, come on. You're just not pissing me off. Okay, so it does look nice. We can try uh, other fonts also. Let's see how it looks. Uh, other one was uh, Laura and uh, Ubuntu font. We can try both of them. Okay, so this is the Laura. Mm, this one looks much better as compared to the other one. Uh, I can try the Ubuntu font also. <coughs> This one looks much better as compared to the Ubuntu font. And now we need the font uh, for the text. Um, we can just uh, use uh, Roboto. For now, we can change it now also. Uh, let's change the font and font size so font size can be 20 because this is a label kind of a label you can say when well, not an actual label but you can say a subtitle or something there is a variation also wow that's nice Okay, so I'll use the remote over here and let me try the bold weight. No, no. Regular looks much better. I'll make this middle and okay uh, i also need to add uh, create few buttons so just a quick small button okay Uh, we can add you know few um, images uh, as a background just to make it a little bit more fancy and this button over here it will say uh, add repository Okay, that looks nice. Uh, yeah, now let's get back to this one. And let me just take a reference again like what was the content. No local changes. Uh, you have no incremental changes in your repository. There are some friendly suggestions for what to do next. 
Now pull one commit from the original remote. Okay, the current model, the current branch master has a commit on GitHub that doesn't not exist on the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, always available in the toolbar when you okay uh, open the repository. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So they have just given a basic suggestion that what uh, can what we can do, but we don't need that right now. Uh, we are just creating a simplified design that how it should look like uh, I just need to know like what I need to add at the sidebar oh, okay So what they have added, uh, working copy, history, yeah, we can also show the history, like it's no big deal, it's just a, uh, we can just run a get log command uh, and it will show the history. Uh, we will add the, these features later on. So they have added workspace, file system. Okay, so file system is a place where we can do all the stuff like committing changes uh, and stashing them or whatsoever. Okay. And then there's this history and search. Uh, so far now uh, I will just use this approach you know where each uh, item in the sidebar will have its own icon uh, later on we can change the way we want so I think this can work for now I also need to decrease the size of the sidebar a bit more maybe 250 yeah Uh, I'm still not sure that should I add this uh, over here uh, you know some kind of a quick action that uh, what we want a new repository or something maybe add new repository would be a better text add new repository yeah Uh, okay now over here uh, after leaving some you no know, padding we will start adding the so we can make it a white background only we will just create a section with a sidebar and over here now we will start adding the I can just remove it um, because I don't need it I think yeah I can just remove it now I will add a rectangle maybe height can oops no no height can be 30 pixel maybe 20 yeah 25 seems much better and over here we will write uh, working workspace
and then we can also add a, an icon Uh, let me see like uh, I'm just checking on the base uh, so should I add uh, this sidebar uh, width based on the, the ratio or maybe a fixed size let me just check how it looks okay mm. because we don't have to show you know uh, a wider content on the sidebar uh, like even this much sidebar would also be sufficient this extra space we can use it over here because if we just take an example of this uh, this application of figma also so you can see this uh, sidebar over here that we can even resize this so we can add this uh, option of resizing later on hmm. we can decrease it a bit more maybe this 200 pixel can work Yeah. yeah that's fine yeah 200 pixels also fine uh, and so we need to add a few other links over here maybe like uh, history yeah i think these are the two features uh, we will work on before we release the you know the alpha version of the thermal application or maybe i don't know which version we will release and the icon also Uh, what icon they are using okay they have created custom icons <laughs> you did you saw this this icon looks like a you know a, a ring a commit yeah it's yeah I, I don't I know that you know like we cannot think of specific uh, icon for a commit word that for a tag yet it is understandable that this does make sense but for a commit a ring uh, so i have added this uh, add repository over here and does it make sense what they have added okay plus sign uh, i don't know what are these uh, settings over here because uh, as far i'm uh, i know that uh, in the mac uh, the the menu bar is always at the top even if you resize the the application itself but in the windows uh, the the menu bar is uh, resized based on the size of the window itself or the size of the application yeah And uh, with this uh, GitHub desktop, they have this option where we can click this drop down and both this sidebar just changes to the, to the selection page where we can uh, select the repository. And same goes for this one. Okay, let me add a uh, few other icons over here also. Uh, this can be a uh, commit icon maybe. So we will just group this icon based on the, the category of the icon. maybe this can be pull and push 
and then it can be me history no history we have already added now maybe if anything uh, other than that Okay, this looks good. Okay, so we need to add fetch also. Mm -hmm. and settings uh, we can add on the, uh, the opposite side we have to make it even responsive also i almost forgot like i don't even know how responsive works in a, in a desktop application check it because uh, at least for you know at a uh, minimum uh, window size we need to make it responsive like we uh, that's obvious we cannot make it uh, fully responsive that it is it works on uh, mobile also but to, uh, to some extent uh, we need to make it responsive Uh, okay, so they have added a refresh button and fetch also. Yeah, I think uh, they have also added. Uh, yeah, they also have a refresh button. And they have added a search option. Okay, they have a bit of a gray color over here. and they also have a grey color i think yeah let me see which color they have i think it is a, a light shade of uh, of blue no not even close but it does look like a, a lighter shade of blue i think Let me try this how it looks like.
let me add uh, the text also over here because I think uh, adding text uh, would make it more clear that what the button does and also I will add a darker shade of this one using HSB okay, that's fine and I will also make the font weight a bit of bold and we will add the icon later on uh, since we will be adding icon so we need to increase the size of this rectangle also because icon will occupy a little bit of more space <coughs> Uh, that's obvious now we can increase the size of this font also maybe 14 or 16 can work uh, let me just group these things just to make it more clear on the sidebar Okay, now we can hide this layer. Okay, and now I also need to change the color of this. Okay, and now uh, I need to add this over here. So we got, uh, no, no, not over here. Over here, so we got commit, um, pull, push, fetch, and maybe branch, tag, and all of the stuff over here. And then the settings at the end. So uh, you know since we are into this designing only so why don't we make it a little bit more beautiful in the design itself you know uh, it might help us when we will be sharing these images for promotional stuff yeah yeah so let's get into the designing spec more properly so I'll just keep the nav bar for now I will not change this one I will just start working on this part um, we can increase the size of the icons to 25 I will not ex uh, exceed more than 30 pixel that otherwise it will look much weird uh, I can just go max for 25 right now and also we need to also add the text also uh, okay uh, 8 pixels will be sufficient 
Oops, spelling that wrong. Okay. Mm, we can make it sixty, I think. And in middle. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. So we can change the Wait a second, I have this, uh, I can use icons from the feather icon only. And what should be the color of the buttons? Hmm. What should be the color of the buttons? So most of the buttons are over like blue, blue. These are both of the get up only, so that makes sense. Uh, they don't have any buttons over here and I don't see any buttons over here either uh, except these one Okay, found this color. Uh, let me just try to try experiment with this. If it looks nice. Um, I can just hide the, this border for now. 
<coughs> let me just group these changes quickly I mean not changes uh, these layers so this is inside the sidebar only let me move it over here come on okay and I'll change the color of this one I think this color looks much better this is more bright this is looks this looks like much darker mm. let me see It is taking ages to load this page. Okay, so what we can do uh, instead, uh, instead of make, uh, changing the font weight, uh, we will um, change the color. Uh, I'll make it medium. Uh, yeah, and make it more darker. Yeah, that looks nice. And uh, we will also change this to medium. Or maybe not. Uh, there is not much variation as we can see over here in the color. So I will make it a little bit more dark uh, lighter no 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 i messed up with the color uh, shit 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 come on <coughs> okay and now we need to add the uh, add the icons I may not be able to find all the icons in the feather icon yeah, I think I have to search on the website only 
Nope. I think we do have all the icons. Let me check the icons we need. Uh, should we add commit over here? The, uh, over here they have added open. So for a commit we can you know use this pencil thingy that would make it more explanatory that you know we are writing a commit or something So now we can expand this to 25 pixels. And we can change the text to commit over here. Let me quickly bring the setting of gear icon. Okay, here's the gear icon. Okay. Let me change the color also of the icons and I think the color of the icons is black for now. Later we will change the color also. So this will be commit. And this will be the nav bar, I suppose. Where is the icon? Okay, here it is. And this will be the commit.
this icon looks kind of weird <clears throat> okay what was the other one it was i think push pull and fetch We don't have those icons over here. Okay, just push and uh, push pull. Okay, so I think that icon we were having. It is lagging very badly. So this will be the push and this will be the the pull and this will be mm, fetch Uh, we do have found, I mean, the icon for the, the down arrow and the up arrow. Uh, I don't see any dotted icon for the fetch. I don't see that fetch icon uh, I can just use this uh, sync icon also I mean this one it is same only let me just check again
let me get these two icons first so this will be full over here and this will be the push over here and this will be 25 pixels group them together and this will be the push and now the pull Fifty two is twenty five. Okay, there's a, okay. Here's the pool, and I will group them also. And this will be the pool. Wow, what happened? Let's make it center and add a two pixel of gap <coughs> and over here also uh, two pixel of gap and in the center. So you want push, pull, commit, and setting. And now we need to add the fetch also. Okay, let me check. I will just copy the this refresh icon. Uh, do you guys see the any icon related to fetch? I don't see over here. Let me go to the website and check over there. I think they might have added some new. Excuse me. They might have added some new icons. So let me just check. Uh, and by the way the website link is feather icon you can also just visit the website and explore the icons it's very nice they have more than 270 icons wow no they don't have that dot it <laughs> they have added emojis also that's nice How we can get that? Uh, maybe refresh.
Oops, where is the wrong? These two. Hmm. I'm not sure. And by the way, uh, even though you know we are adding icons over here, it still looks like this only. Yeah. We need to change the design. Okay, so we are using this thing up with a fat hand. Mm. Well, maybe uh, we can just uh, add a. Uh, maybe we can just change the name. Instead of fat, we can use refresh. But still, that doesn't, you know, uh, like reset means different as compared to fetch. Yeah, that I know. If I because uh, I want to use the feather icon because if I because I'm using this library right now for the icons and if we choose the same icon from the same library we get some consistency and I don't want to lose that. Um, dotted circle. No, 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 not this dotted. What the hell? Come on, show some suggestions. Cycle, circle, yeah. I don't find the icon anywhere. searching with the, the correct keyword do you guys any have suggestion for that like what should I search for this specific icon with the you know this dotted circle we can change the icon but 
and add the down arrow later I need to decrease the size of the icons and little bit increase the size of the font um, below the icon and also change the just a second just a second So uh, the uh, the current icon which we have are all um, all of them are in the square shape. That's a nice thing. So we can make it size to twenty. And increase the size to ten over here. change the color of this Yeah, maybe something like this. So the uh, the color for the <coughs> for the text need to be a bit of darker, but in the similar shade. I think this looks better. Uh, 
and then uh, we can add uh, just a second so I was thinking that uh, should I follow similar approach like uh, over here they have done that uh, that we get a drop down list uh, but you know if I follow this approach you know it will create a bit of different design I was thinking in a bit of different way that uh, we will add a, a drop down over here in this section uh, that uh, that it will uh, we add the drop down over here and it will cover the whole sidebar and then uh, start adding the icons over here but it also might look weird I don't know like I could, let me just try very quickly let me see Sixty, seventy. Yeah, this doesn't. Let me fix these icons real quick. Now I will add the fetch icon later on. Uh, and also I will make the icon color little bit more darker very little bit maybe something like this maybe a little lighter uh, And this looks nice. Let me inspect the Uh, okay, it does look nice. Now the button looks a little bit uh, off, you know. Uh, what if we use the same color for both of them? Okay, or maybe you know, increase the font weight, or maybe just change the font uh, font only. One, see how the changes. But it is not saving the changes. No, uh, we need to change the font only. Yeah, this, uh, this font doesn't look bad. We can use this font. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Now I will change the font over here real quick. Uh, 
uh, I will update the font over here also because it is just a component so it will update everywhere wherever we are using the instance of this component okay now at the bottom over here also Now I will combine the shape and then I will align it in the middle and then I have a spacing and change the font color that's too dark now we need a light color but the darker shade the battery of the mouse is dead now we need to switch the batteries switching the batteries right now okay new batteries have been plugged in and let's rock and roll So you see these two colors which I am switching. So these two colors are very different. You can see a slight change in the colors. Okay, this color looks nice. Uh, I will change the color over here also. I can you just use this color only. Okay. Uh, I have updated the size okay nice 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 and i will copy the color and what is the color let me check okay i think so or i hope so and i will paste the color and i will just fix the positioning and Oh no, 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 no. What was the position? It was 5, okay. I also need to change the size. It was 20 pixels. What the hell? Why I change it for settings? So oh, many. and the position should be 5 should be in the center and over here also 5 center and now all of these should be again in the center 
and with respect to this also what the hell no for this this in the center nice let me just take a quick look mm, yeah it does look nice yeah now I need to increase the I need to make it a little bit more darker for here and over here Okay, this is 13 and we can make it 10 by 10 on the both sides yeah that looks nice I need to change the color of this one also and we will use this color only come on where is the color this one That looks nice. Oops, I closed it. Well, now our app has been in shape and it start to come in a bit of shape that it does look like a, you know an application now now we are more focusing on the design more properly now we cannot still help out with this thing because this is a native uh, i mean it's not really native because we are customizing this also so i think this should be the brand color of the of the thermal application itself I don't know what color should I pick This color looks nice too. Let me change the settings over here also. I need to copy the styles for this and paste it over here. And I also need to get the color paste it over here size is already changed I need to just make it center the spacing of 5 and boom done okay yeah looks nice now I'll just make change back to white for now
okay cool now let me just check it how it looks come on okay uh, nice we got all the icons I need to add spacing in between these two and decrease the font size of these and yeah rest of the thing looks nice Okay, so I'll just check. Uh, let me just check the uh, first of all. Let me just do this, and then I'll check the menu bar. So this is 16. So if I change to 14, um, the size decreases too much. But maybe possible because you know uh, I'm just using two wide screen. That's the reason, or maybe. Let me. Now if I a bit to zoom in, now it looks nice. So that. Thank you very much, uh, RV the maker, for the follow. Really appreciate that. I think it does, uh, does look nice uh, we can later try on like how it scales down uh, if we are using a wider screen but for now it looks nice okay, so we are using 14 pixel over here also oh, I think uh, so do you see this uh, this edge over here it, you know it feels like that it is using a, a bit of no uh, extra font weight as compared to this one or maybe I'm just thinking we anyway Now let me add spacing over here also and we can add 10 pixel uh, for a group buttons and over here it should be let me put these two together and this should be maybe 20 okay let's make it 30 yeah looks nice <coughs> now let me just real quick uh, do something with the menu bar maybe i can just use a some kind of an icon that can work
okay so we have added this dummy icon icons over here let me merge these together okay so, so we get these action buttons that's nice i can just add little bit of spacing i will customize these buttons later on uh, because uh, electron give us this option to customize the full experience from the menu bar to anything you want uh, it's totally customized uh, in electron so that's why it's really awesome Uh, by the way if you have any suggestion uh, really appreciate that uh, because the project which on which i'm working on is uh, open source and then i would really appreciate if you can maybe contribute to the design because uh, i'm currently the project I'm, i mean the features uh, i want to ship it with uh, is the uh, is the git uh, commit git log uh, and git pull push and fetch so i think these are the five six features uh, which i want before i release the basic uh, version of the thermal application because it also gave a good ground up you know before people start using the application that there is some value in the application itself even though it's open source and um, and it's, uh, it's also free to use so it, i'm just starting with the basic features so that uh, people can understand that that uh, what this uh, application is all about Okay, so we got a, just a dummy navbar. Uh, even though we will be, we will be using the um, exact same links with the file edit view repository hub, and now it comes to the icon. What should we add over here? What should we add over here? I am still thinking what to add over here. Uh, maybe we can use an icon that is the only possible option I can think of right now <laughs> yeah you see those uh, action icons um, yeah, if you will adjust a basic icon it will look a bit of more nice yeah um, let me open the the feather icon of the game and in the meantime they open up uh, let me check uh, under application menu bar like how does they work It is still opening. Wow, now it is not responding. That's still really nice.
Okay, so which icon should we use right now? Which icon should we use? We can use the, you know, this uh, since this project is already re related to Git, so uh, I should use uh, one of from this icon. From this four icon, I can use any one. So, if you have any suggestion, guys, let me know because I am open to suggestions. I think I will be using one of these maybe this one I think I should use this one because this at least does make sense that there's uh, something joins to this or maybe uh, um, you know for as a separate part yeah so I will, I will use this one Now what is the size of this? Okay, it is 20 pixel, that's nice. I can just group them I think. Will that work? Yep. So it's okay, the size is already 20 pixel, that's nice. That's easy. Uh, I think now we can just drag it over here. Perfect. These must be the action buttons. So we can just move them to the bottom with the frame. What is this? Okay, this must be the rectangle. Yeah. And I don't need this. And this should be over here. Perfect. Yeah, you see now it does look nice. Let's check over here. Yeah, yeah, nice. We get the icon, the links, the action buttons, and all of this. Nice. Uh, okay now let's check what else we can add mm -hmm. so I think they must have distributed this whole application into columns yeah that is only possible option they must have used to create this application Hmm. 
Uh, we can also use a refresh button but I'm not sure like what uh, will be the purpose of that button okay now I need this folder icon here it is, found it. Now I also need a history icon, maybe a clock. Well, clock can work. Okay, so I think I can decrease the fonts, I mean the icon of the size to 20 pixels also. Let me see the, <coughs> the clock or uh, something similar. Uh, I did saw that, you know, what was, uh, what it's called, semicircle? Anti circle, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's called anti circle. Where was that? Yeah, here it is. Nope, no, uh, wait. Uh, is that correct icon? Because we need an icon related to history or something that it should denote that, you know, this is history. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let me switch back to the, to the design and check what should be the correct icon for the history. Okay, they are using clock. Uh, I can also get the icon for the explorer and the terminal. So I can just use the I think same icon for the over here workspace. Let me check how uh, Git Lens work. Now, if you are not familiar with the, or if you are, don't know what Git Lens is, uh, Git Lens uh, is a Visual Studio Code uh, extension uh, in which you can do all the cool stuff uh, which is not available in the uh, the official uh, VS Code source code uh, extension. So, with the help of uh, Git Lens, you get additional benefits like now what are the benefits? <laughs> yeah, you can um, check the history of the commits uh, and compare the branches with other stuff, and you can do all that stuff. That let me just show you. Like, I also need to check like what uh, the titles they are using. Okay, so this is the extent. Uh, no, this is the extension. And okay, so repositories file history yeah so you can see so there are a bunch of options like search commits compare line history file history and repositories uh, so we can add Okay, so let me see an icon for the file explorer and the. Okay, let me just. Okay, I need to see clock also. We can use this, but this no more is for undo stuff. Let me can undo a commit or something. Where is the clock? And what was the other one? Yeah, file explorer. Let me search the clock. Clock, 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 clock. 
Where are you clock? I need the clock icon. But I cannot see you anywhere. I think I have to search the the music stop playing. What the hell? That's sad. Where is the clock icon? I cannot see. Okay, we got the lock. Okay, we do have a clock icon. What there it is? I cannot see the clock icon from this gigantic list. So we got the watch icon over here. Okay, I found the compass. Come on, where is the clock? I mean, clock. <laughs> found it. Okay, the. Okay, oh my god, here it was. Oh my god. It was very hard to find the icon also. Uh, I also need uh, terminal and file explorer <coughs> mm, so I will just search uh, I do know that there is an icon for terminal so I will just do a quick search yeah here it is because I have used this icon earlier also so I do know about this one and I will add this icon over here okay and the another one is explorer i'm not sure if there that icon is available no i think it is not available that icon is uh, i can use this icon by I mean this computer icon but that doesn't make any sense okay we got the funnel the movie what else we need few more icons i think i think the file icon will be sufficient for now yeah because i cannot think can you add so maybe we can just use this one because sharing is caring so we can just use the same icon Yeah, so we can just use the same icon. That would be a better idea. Okay, let me just check what's happening in the Discord. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, I had just launched my new podcast named Static Site, uh, where I discuss all about the Static Site generator, that what it is all about, what it is, and how does it work, and why you should use it, and all other stuff. Uh, so 
I I have um, so I I'm just I have just to release the second podcast. Like I have recorded the podcast, I have published it, but it will be automatically uh, released on the the coming Friday. So the first episode is already already there. Uh, you can just listen to the podcast. Um, yeah, I will just share the link to you guys. So yeah, you should definitely uh, if you are uh, a static side generator fan, uh, you should definitely check this out. Or if you uh, are exploring something new, uh, you know, if you want to create a simple blogging website and you don't want to pay for your hosting and all the stuff for your site, uh, you should definitely go for a static side generator because because static side generator have a plus point for that and you will know about that plus point in my upcoming episode so definitely uh, listen to that episode if i got a little bit suspense for you okay what the watch okay so this is a private conversation i cannot show you guys My machine is very lagging right now. Okay, let me just check what's happening with UJS. <clears throat> okay, I got three admissions. okay but uh, as they are saying that it is not possible but it is mentioned in a like i have checked in the discord i mean i have checked in the documentation it is mentioned over there that we can use you know that type property let me show you that uh, and by the way guys i'm sorry if you are uh, if you're watching this live stream for the designing stuff uh, i'll just get back to the design uh, I just really need to check this out because uh, I because that I was having that uh, question for the for this project only which I am building right now. Okay, 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 they said this patch with the payload for this and for Okay But I mean, uh, I have been using this uh, at this method and I mean, wait for uh, For calling the actions and it was working perfectly I can just try another the, the other way also just to make sure it works uh, hmm. Okay, let me just add mention those people uh, really quick.
-hmm. okay so we can use this yeah that's nice and i, I did that only here uh, okay okay so i can just try it this way if it works i will just try it later on yeah thanks for the suggestion by the way uh name okay, what else uh, by the way guys um i have this uh discord server of my own uh on which you are most welcome to join uh, you can just uh, click on the URL in the chat. I just uh, share the link with you. It is an invite URL uh, for my Discord server. You are most welcome to join. Uh, we can hang out over there. And if you have any question regarding coding, I will try my best to answer those questions. Uh, and yeah, we can hang out over there. And if you want, we can collaborate on any project if you want. Because I love collaboration, and open source is my second name. Okay, let's close the Discord. Okay. We can just use the same icon for the for the explorer. Where is that icon? <laughs> it is over here folder icon now you can just duplicate the icon no 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 we don't want it to be a component let me fix that real quick no, 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 don't want that thing to happen you see that it is showing 22 by 20 pixel now this is the problem where we get into Wait, the height is 20. Yeah, that's fine, I think, because we do want it to keep the size to 20 and the width can be changed. Yeah, let's see if it works out, works or not. I will just create a duplicate, uh, I need it over here. Fix this over here. <coughs> and we can add so how much spacing I have added over here. Let me check at the bottom of the page. Okay, so I have added 12 pixel. So I can add 12 pixel over here also. Mm, no, 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 like, um, like, doesn't look nice. Let me change the color of the icon. Okay, so I'm using the same icon. Uh, I should also change the icon over here. Uh, I think there's a plus icon for the for the feather. Uh, I did saw the plus icon where it was. Where's the plus icon? Come on, man! That's insane. Where it is? Okay, if we got a minus icon, there must be a plus icon somewhere. Mm. Yeah, found it, found it, found it, found it, nice, nice, nice. So I will use this icon. So I will just uh, change this icon later on. I don't, will not deal with it right now. 
Okay. <laughs> Let me do this real quick. Okay, here is I can let me change the color. 16 pixel is sufficient. So we get 10 pixel over here and 9 pixel over here. Hmm. That's fine. That's cool man. That's cool. That's cool. We are cool? Yeah. We are cool. Uh, we can visit the center. Uh, I will add uh, spacing 12 only just to make it more consistent. And also I will align it to the right uh, to the left side just like other, uh, uh, other items from the sidebar. And it will be 20 pixel. Yeah, looks nice. <coughs> and we will do the same thing over here. So I think it is a part of the sidebar only. So we can move it over here. Yeah, and with this workspace, um, the icon and this, there should be a spacing of 20 pixel again. And this should be 12. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Now I think I can decrease the the size of the icon yeah it will decrease it doesn't look nice it's too big oops The width is okay. <coughs> okay, that's cool. So this should be twenty uh, twelve, and the spacing over here should be say what? So this should be 13, I mean sorry 12 and this should be centered. Okay, perfect. And same goes for this one. This should be easy. I mean it's already in the square shape. And this should be 18 pixels. I need to change the background color of this one real quick. Okay, nice. Now it is. Okay. So it is centered. It is centered over here also. Nice. And the spacing over here. Should be twelve. Perfect. Now let me take a quick look how it looks. 
for me be what i can do i can just do the fill but that might get a little bit more complicated so this is before and after nice now i can disable this i'm still not satisfied with the design of this i construct Okay, I can just duplicate this one only and one more time. Yes. So, what was the name? Let me just take a quick another look. Okay, so it is Terminal and Explorer. <coughs> And this should be terminal. <laughs> Just a second. So the, uh, I think the size was um, 20 pixels and the height, yes I think this can work. Let me just get the color, I think this is so I can just use it at the same time. Okay. And now I can remove this one. And same for here. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, since we need to keep the size uh, within 20 not to exceed the size so I will just follow this convention that the size kind of increase the 20 pixel maybe can, I mean it cannot be greater than 20 yeah that is the approach I am following over here and uh, I think the spacing over here was 30 
here it is 30 so we will add uh, same spacing over here let me update the name of the group also and this should be 30 okay perfect now let's take another quick look and now I am uh, satisfied with this header I mean this, um, this nav bar but uh, I need to still work on this part also I am still not convinced especially with the icons over here uh, I need to decrease the size a little bit more and I am still not sure with the color contrast but I can work on that part later on that's very specific now I need to work on this main section where the magic will happen the actual magic Uh, so based on these three features the commit uh, push um, pull and the fetch uh, of which I am not able to find the icon but it will be there uh, in the first release uh, I'm still not sure that uh, that is you know this beautified nav bar I mean the menu bar will be there in the release um, so I will not do not to I will uh, not do that part in the first release. So yeah, so it will uh, contain this basic uh, I mean this beautified design which we are designing right now. Okay, so what should be the design for this part? Do you guys have any suggestions for this? So I will work on the first of all the history part and I think that will be a bit easier. Yeah, let me just explore a bit on the internet.
Uh, okay, so I think first of all we will show the uh, show the all the list of commits over here, and then the the, the actual content inside the specific commit. Okay. It would be the plan. Uh, but inside that, I'm also thinking that um, you know, since um, uh, when we check the file history, oh sorry, sorry. When we check the commit history, uh, when we you know run the git log, so we get all the list of commits, and inside that commit we can check the all the file changes we have made for the specific commit, and that um, is really important for that specific part. You know when we are uh, checking the the logs or uh, and you know, like what we have done in that specific commit so for that we need a bigger room just to uh, able to read the uh, read the changes uh, so that's why just to you know uh, keep that area more open and provide, providing more space so what i'll be uh, and what i'm planning to do right now uh, we will be using so if we just use 400 over here and if we use this space, this much space, uh, we are left with only this much space, which is very less. I think it is less. So 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 so, so. Uh, and uh, inside that also, uh, okay, just uh, create two additional blocks. So this part might contain all the all the actual changes, and then uh, this part over here might contain. Uh, maybe the description or maybe mm, what else and the title of the commit the description and the uh, the files or the files uh, which include inside the specific commit so as we can see let me just uh, add some differentiation to this blocks real quick okay so this is the on the list of uh, commits and here we will show the file chain for the specific file uh, and over here we will show the title description uh, so in this scenario as we can see there is not much room for the uh, for the actual changes to see which is uh, the main point of this uh, feature just to check the uh, i mean uh, the the main point of this feature is to just to, not to check the log but also to uh, see the actual changes but uh, uh, but you know in this scenario like we can see there's not much room like what I'm, what my point i'm trying to say so that's why uh, i was also thinking uh, like i just came up with this new feature that you know we can expand this area like, you know like a full screen that uh, we can expand this something like this which gives users a, a wide screen mode Yeah, that's also a good idea. Maybe we can add uh, maybe three or four different types of view. Maybe a tabular, a column, uh, maybe a horizontal view and a full screen view. So we can create a separate component where um, all the code preview will be there and based on the data we can show different type of code yeah and theoretically it looks very simple but when it comes to code it just blows your mind that uh, the sound data is going over there and from there and uh, all that 
Humble Jumble stuff. No, it's Mumble Jumble. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wait a second. Okay, so I will start with this, uh, this log stuff first of all. Uh, I just need to take a reference from some of the application also. Maybe uh, like how does they show history? Uh, I already know it, like you can see over here, they just show a basic. So we need more than that. Um, like uh, just showing the title and the avatar doesn't clear everything. We also need uh, more information. We need more data. Okay, let me check how does um, this desktop uses the history feature. Well, let me show it to you. Okay, so you can see over here that these are the all the logs over here with the title, with the avatar. Um, with the name and a static a committed string and then the the relative uh, time and then over here we get a little bit more uh, detailed information about the commit which is title again the avatar and now we get the the commit id and the number of file changes and here's the list of all the file changes And uh, after clicking that, uh, we can see the specific file change.
okay now it also shows some basic you know uh, basic placeholders you can say but we need more than if more than that information mm. like obviously we need uh, the author details and the commit we need more commit details also uh, maybe the detail uh, the date the author email address the author name author avatar uh, commit id yeah Uh, but it depends like on the way we show the details okay i'll just take a quick screenshot of this one also Uh, I can create, uh, I can also create the components of these also. Let me just check if I have all, all the pieces I need. Okay, so I got the nav bar and I got the sidebar. Yeah, perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. These should be separate components sidebar and nav bar. Now I'll just grab the the original components and leave the instance behind. Okay, that looks nice. So I'll just also rename the pages. So this will be the welcome page. And this is a history page. So first of all, we will just focus on the the list of. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! Forgot to paste that. Please. Oh, thank God. I thought it was not in my clipboard. okay so uh, over here they are just showing all the logs based upon the like just showing it as a list uh, we can also use the same approach or since it's a you know like for a history that uh, we can also show based categorized based on the date but we can mark it as an you know an extra feature as a feature request Yeah, let me just um, note that down as a feature request quick, real quick. Oh, oh, hello, Fazer. I forgot. I just forgot to check the messages. Yeah, how are you, guy? Uh, how are you, Fazer? I'm real coach. I'm really sorry to check your messages. I was. So really into this design how are you man 
it's long time uh, talking with you so what are you doing lately Okay, and let's get that design. So let me first of all add that. Otherwise, I will just forgot to you know. Uh, even though that's a good feature, I just came up with. Now we have further replied. No worries, he will keep making just dropping by. Yeah, thank you very much for dropping by. Really appreciate that. Yeah, see you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So let me first of all create a component for of this one. Okay, so no, I have opened this one. Okay, I'll just add that. So the size of uh, this is I think 300 or it's 400. Uh, if I can decrease the size to 300, it will de uh, definitely give more space to the other side. So yes, yeah, back to just make it 300 only. And then. <coughs> And then Whoa! okay, let me change the title. Uh, so this will be the title of the commit. So we can make a title of the commit like uh, <laughs> making an awesome website <laughs> so this can be a, uh, the name of the commit <laughs> so we will <coughs> sorry guys my throat just lost its voice <coughs> I mean the original voice <coughs> bump up the size to 12 so just taking a reference I will not actually uh, consider this actual design of the, the commit log Okay, so I just created a, a new workspace for uh, for the thermal itself, and um, I'm just using Notion. Uh, and by the way, uh, quick promo. I'm, well, it's not really promo. It's a, a true feedback you can say because I really love using using Notion uh, and the way it works. Um, so I would suggest that you should also give it a shot. Uh, you you should use Notion. Uh, and I can just quickly share a link with you guys maybe a referral link so that you can use that link and maybe I can get some free credits and of course you will also get some 
uh, credits also so it uh, it will also benefit both of us so so i suggest you, you to use this link <coughs> yeah so i drop the link click that link it will you know we can just share 10 10 dollar credits i don't know i'm just kidding even though uh, i bet i mean I'm, I'm, i mean i'm truly saying that this tool is really awesome man i love it okay let me create a table i'm not a table uh blackboard okay okay so i created a, a kanban table and here is the tulu uh, and it was uh, organize uh, commit log based on date yeah so it's a good uh, and by the way uh, if you have any feature request of course i know that uh, all the features which uh, git includes uh, git has uh, all those feature will be there but apart from those feature you know like uh, git um, commit git push git fetch apart from those you know uh, feature specific to the uh, to the way the application works so if you have those feature requests do drop them even though uh, the application is not ready yet i mean no it's not even released yet but uh, it's good to uh, know that um, if you have any specific feature in mind i'll just add another feature request real quick uh, resize uh, win uh, what was that window resize code window yeah something like this okay so we got three two I mean, two feature requests that's nice okay now let's get back to work and here will be the the name of the author and it will say committed uh, <laughs> 200 years ago <laughs> okay yeah that's fine no spelling got wrong i mean this is the best component 200 years ago it's, it's insane okay we will just uh, Wrap this oops okay so we got a basic layout for the for us commit uh, for a, what was the name for the commit history and it will be sharing the same padding and this will be 6 no 8 yeah uh, and it will be in the center you need to increase the font to 10 no 9 or maybe 8.5 oh yeah i think that's fine i need to make it a little bit low yes yeah, like this and this should be again <coughs> I think spacing is too much over here. No, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we got a basic layout of this component log. Now we can tweak this. <coughs> okay, 
Okay, over here we will show all the commit logs. Uh, it will be in the white background and of course there will be a mm, let me just a second let me check real quick yep we need that where it is since we are not using that line which i have added over here yeah. um, I don't we don't need this line over here. We can just pull that line and add it over here. Okay, nice. And this should be 280 what 250 okay so this is a single commit you can say So what is the important things for a commit? So it is a title. I mean the, the name of the author and the avatar is not that important as compared to the title and the commit ID. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third is the date. And at the end it is important that, yeah, that like who has committed that commit. Like this is my approach like maybe uh, this pattern of the way we prioritize things in a commit might be different for some other person <clears throat> okay so i will just create a, a, a different one don't worry okay so i will just uh, attach it to here and make it a part of a component itself Okay, now so this will be the same, it will not change. Um, what we will change right now it will be the maybe we don't need the okay so we'll just try different variation let's see what uh, looks uh, what looks nice uh, so uh, we will add uh, we will add the commit id over here now we'll just I'll create another duplicate real quick. Okay, um, we will add the commit ID over here, and then on the other uh, other side, uh, we will add the the date. So what should be the commit ID? Okay. Now I think there is a pattern for the commit ID also that it doesn't exceeds uh, the
Uh, I think it doesn't exceed the F uh, alphabet and from the number 8 it can be 0 to 9. Oops, it's all in the capital letters, no. Okay, so we got a nice commit ID. And the color will also be a little uh, lighter. This is too light, no. Be the here it will be the commit ID and then on the opposite side will be the date all right so what should be the date 200 years ago zero uh, three minus 1 zero 9 yeah oops I have added dash okay nice and we got the date and everything it is okay Okay, so this is 54 pixels and I can just bump up this spacing over here. Okay, uh, and now we will uh, do this. I know it's insane. Okay. I know it doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me just select a quick image. Okay, I will place the image one over here also.
uh, or maybe I have a better idea. So since uh, as we have talked that you know we will be adding this feature that we can uh, filter out for uh, what was that? Uh, we, we we can organize the commits based on the the date. Like uh, for example, this is uh, for example we have a commit that which is of last month. So we can organize all the commits of last month. Like maybe so last month was the Feb. So we can organize all the commits of uh, February and like this and so on. And in that, so we don't need the the date because we already know that we are going in the in the ascending order. Right. So it is ascending, right? No, we are, we are, yeah. Okay, sorry, we are going in the descending order. So that's why we don't need the. Uh, we need this. I mean, we don't need this. Um, wait, wait, wait. We will create a new. We will create a new commit history. No, no. Uh, I, I, the design will be similar to this one, so I'll just copy paste this one only. Oops. Okay, nice. Now we only need the name of the author, and then I'll just duplicate the name and edit over here and over here it will show the this commit id nice now even though we don't need the date which is not that important we can add the date no big deal uh, maybe we can add a special character or a symbol something like this and then we can add the date also something like this but uh, when the user will click on the specific commit uh, it will show it over on the other side also I mean all the details Uh, I think this one doesn't look very much nice this one so yeah I think I, I got it so which one I will use so we will uh, of course use the commit ID over here also and then we will just use the same approach committed 20 minutes ago now I just need to still figure out the way to minify this line this committed 20 minutes ago or improve this or or maybe sort of a different way but I think this is the better approach then we can also add a add a commit id which is really nice let me just check how does it looks These two doesn't look very nice. Okay, so I can just keep it around, but I will remove it from here. Now I will grab the
Okay, so we get a nice list of all the commits. Okay, now okay. So what I was thinking that you know I I was talking earlier that uh, the way we will organize the the area. So as I showed you that uh, that we will add a block over here. No, no, here. That this spacing will be for showing the code itself. But what I was thinking. Um, we will just use this sidebar only so when the user will click on the specific uh, um, specific commit it will show the code over here also but on the other side um, it will hide all the commits uh, and then it will show the details of the specific commit over here we, which is just you know uh, an efficient way to uh, using the space uh, which is already uh, we have uh, in a more modular way so in that we can just add a back button over here uh, in a kind of a, a badge shape something like this okay so we have edit over here and then we will add all the Okay. Uh, now uh, let me just quickly fix the position. Okay. Now I need to fix the positioning. So ten pixel from here, ten pixels from here. Okay, nice. Now I can just fix the color real quick also. So we have our uh, sweet little uh, back button and now we will add more details. We can also add the option to 
Ja. So I don't know like what will be the use of that feature. So let me just quickly write mm. okay. So what I will do is just a second. <coughs> So I will add this new feature in my Notion workspace. It is. It is. Creator, so it is Okay, so I have added that feature in the Notion. So let's get back to work. Now we need to show the the details of the the details of the commit. So for that. thinking like what uh, are the details like it will be of course the the author avatar the author name author email address uh, the date and the commit id Now I think I should add that over here also. Now let me add that also.
we have at that over here now it looks nice and it also gives you know, uh, differentiation to the, to the design Okay, now we can start adding the content over here. Um, like author. Okay, and another one is um, the date, and then the document ID. Okay, now uh, let me just split that into two different. Oh, wait, uh, do I need to split that or maybe not? I don't need that here, so I just need to add the name itself directly. And then the date and the title and all the stuff. Okay. I need to get the get a profile picture from here. Perfect. Uh, and the size should be uh, thirty pixel or maybe forty. I think it can be a little bit more bigger but yeah, that's fine and the color will be no 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 the color should be more darker Okay, my email. So this is not my real email. I'm just writing it down.
Let me check it over here. Oh, no, no, the size is very small. I have just zoomed in, I didn't notice that. The size need to be 50 and this should be 12. I think this looks much better. Uh, I need to still work on the coloring part. Okay, and now we can add the details like title. So we'll just keep the spacing at the side 10 pixel only, uh, which will be consistent. Let me check over here. Yeah, that's fine. Now I need to increase the increase this to 5 pixel. Okay. <coughs> now and the title over here. Uh, the title will be. Uh, fix computing property in MuGX and I will fix the width of this one also just to be clear and we, uh, later we will add the limitation to, so that the, the, correct, no, the number of characters will not increase and then the disc there will be a description and then the date and the date commit ID uh, date can be 14 March 2019 and this part will be of this color oh no 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 and save with the commit id I'll just uh, type a random string okay <coughs> and then we will show the the number of uh, all the file changes <coughs> uh, over here I also need to add a description 
sorry guys <coughs> so this is uh, 14 pixel I need to decrease it to 12 and this looks nice and I will just now add the description it contain all the changes from the source and the commit log.js which we have done using scalable okay we got a nice description also and then we got the date and the commit id uh, like is this a, a nice pattern to add this way I think so it's, it does look nice you now we are just uh, I can uh, add this into a separate section maybe uh, like I don't know like what other content does uh, include in the commit I have to check that also Just a second, guys. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I need to put my phone on charge. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I think I will just uh, put that in a in a separate section only. There's my cursor. And I will increase the font size to 10 and this to this ok nice and I will add Let me check now. Uh, okay, now it starts to look a bit weird. I mean, uh, this part does look nice, you know, because of the contrast. Uh, but over here, uh, over here, this doesn't look nice. Uh, I can also add the the time. Mm. 
yeah that's nice we got the commit id uh, by the way guys do you know any other information that commit is included like uh, like commit id the date what else the author details uh, and also the file changes that I, that i already know anything else we can add those things over here and then we will add now and finally we will add the commit and sorry that not the commit uh, the file changes over here like it is showing over here we will add those so in what way they have added okay just a string with a path to it okay uh, no, no, they have added in a, a more sophisticated way. Mm, first, they have added the the what should I say the the originating uh, directory, which is the build over here. Uh, let me just point it out over here. You can see build. And then in the middle uh, are those the paths from where it root routes to a specific file and then finally they have added the full name of the file so they have just uh, eliminated or maybe you can say trimmed the middle uh, paths to the original directory I think this is the, the model they are following right now yes i think so uh, yeah i can also add like the number of file changes three file change so that would be a good thing how we can show that uh, maybe we can start with a simple text like over here <coughs> mm. showing two change files with okay let's make it three only with uh, 145 additions and one deletion okay that looks nice decrease the color to 8 pixels I don't know if it will look nice or not and then I will start adding the the, uh, the actual file path Okay, so over here it will be mm, source build render components and since this is the, the code related part so I'll just change the font to space mono because that is only for the uh, font we have available for the coding which is free to use right now and then we got 
sidebar.view and over here we can do something like this does it look cool? it definitely add few uh, information to the uh, from the data perspective it does add the information the, the information we need that this is a file change I think yeah this is the only option we have um, we can uh, maybe highlight the selection as they have done over here but how we will highlight the color like it is a you know it just boils down to, to the same thing that what will be the selection color and the all the other colors like the brand color and all the stuff Okay, let me just take a quick another look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look nice that we have organized all the content over here, uh, and then uh, we can um, we can add expand this this area as you want, and when the user will go back, then this. It will be show that no commit selected or something. So it is just a placeholder again, uh, like as I told you. And then 
the user can click the file okay so what we will do uh, when the user will click the the actual commit it will auto select the first uh, edit or maybe the first file modified file or whatever the file is so it will show that by default and then um, the user can click other um, whatever the user want and then that specific change will show so that will uh, it will not uh, show any uh, empty placeholder even though we will do create a uh, empty placeholder just for the sake of the the design perspective but i'm just talking uh, as a generally that how it will look like okay so i think now we have just created the history like how it will look like uh, when the user click on the history like even though we will not actually create this part right now where it will be. we can check the actual detail uh, part <laughs> Let me just group all these changes. Oops. Okay, now uh, when I just uh, so I'm just showing the user flow. What will happen when the user click on the uh, on the back button? Uh, that that commit detail will go away, and the, all the commit list will come back. And then the user can click on the specific commit again and that list will come back again. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so today we did do a lot of stuff and that's really nice. Uh, and in the next next time uh, we will do the workspace part where the user can commit the changes i mean not only commit uh where like we will not actually code that part right now because uh, we just need a basic uh, features i mean not feature basic design or basic layout of the stuff like the user can do or may not do Okay, let me just quickly switch to chit chat mode okay nice okay so uh, we like as you have seen my screen that uh, we did most of the stuff uh, and um, like uh, we just totally started from scratch we took few reference from here and there and uh, created a few a basic interface uh, so in the interface itself, uh, like we have only shown the commits, the pull and push uh, uh, icons and all the stuff. And the main section we have created is for the history only, where it shows the the list of all the commits. Uh, and when the user click on specific commit, uh, it shows the detail of the commit itself. Um, and that's really nice. And the way we have gone too far. Uh, like creating it, I think it looks do it does look nice. And of course, if you have any suggestion, uh, I really uh, I would really appreciate that. Uh, you can share your suggestion with the, regarding the design. Uh, you can share it right now, like we are doing the live stream, or like when I'm offline, you can uh, of course join my uh, Twitch server and sorry, you can join my Discord server and we can hang out over there and talk. You can also talk to me, and of course, you can. Um, just join my server and share your suggestion over there yeah okay so it's already two o'clock uh, in india so that's very late and i'll probably just go to bed maybe after 10 20 minutes later Okay, so we'll so like we have already accomplished a lot of uh, awesome stuff. So we will just continue this stuff later. And I'll just close the Figma right now. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, if anyone is uh, watching, uh, maybe say a hello message. Maybe we can talk.
maybe just say a hello that would be really nice okay guys so i think uh, so we had a very fun live stream today and i think it's um, already time for me to just go back go to bed right now so i really appreciate that thank you very much for uh, sticking with me and watching my live stream and don't forget to follow button uh, i mean follow me on twitch and uh, maybe on anywhere on social media you can find me just follow me and i would really appreciate that and of course uh, i would like to see you in the next live stream and yeah lastly um, just don't forget to uh, join my discord server and yeah i will see you next time bye bye bye